And now it's time for this month's full moon. We're going to find out all about it from uh, Patrick McCleary, who is Pagan Dad. So let's welcome Pagan Dad and see what he's got to say. Mary me. Pagan Dad here, and I'm here because I'm a friend of Rupert. And because I wanted to talk about the full moon this month. Now, this full moon is known by many, many different names. You know, from the milk moon to the corn planting moon, the full flower moon. Uh, and the first two, two kind of uh, self-explanatory. So I kind of wanted to talk about the third one, uh, you know, the full flower moon. You know, so far this year we've talked about setting our goals and, uh, you know, planning our hopes and our dreams and goals and all of that. You know, we've talked about preparing the soil, which is ourselves, and getting ready to do things. And now, uh, although some places I know are still deep in snow, uh, at least around this neck of the woods, we're having to do some weeding. Our plants are growing, you know, um, and the same kind of thing in our own life. We're doing our goals and things, but have we, you know, got distracted by side projects? You know, are there things you're doing that are taking away from where you're trying to go? Now, I know, I know, it can be tough to work all the time. And that's not what I'm saying, not what I'm asking for. But I wanted to drop a reminder in your ear about keeping on that path to success. Now, take a look at how close you are to having what you want to have. Until next time, blessing be. Thank you, Patrick, so very much for sharing with us. You know, keeping on the path to success isn't always easy, even when we're doing the things we love to do. There have been times in this past three years of being an adopter road crew that I really thought about giving up. All the pictures I show you are of happy people doing good things. What you don't see in these pictures is all the planning and the work that goes into each of these cleanup events. And it can be discouraging when very few people show up or nobody at all. And sometimes I just don't feel like cleaning up. I'll bet you know what that feels like, don't you? But you know, if we don't keep putting one foot in front of the other, if we don't keep swimming, swimming, <laughs> then the things we want or need just aren't going to get done. It's up to each of us, you and me, to have goals and to keep at it so we can have the things that we want and need, like a good education, like food on the table, and a cleaner planet. You can do it. That's what I always tell my own kids when they're having trouble. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Whatever it may be. Of course you can. I believe in you.